That's it for Alan. Get Alan up here. Alan Smith, that's it for him. All right, Punchline. Let's have a big round of applause for everybody who's already been up here, huh? My father was a janitor, but I'm telling you, he could meet the President of the United States and go, oh, President, huh? Are you on any money? No? What about that Rushmore, huh? Are you on that? Weren't very good then, were you? <laughs> Anybody um, been keeping up with all this gender identity stuff? Yeah. I mean, now they're messing with the pronouns. Like at my house, my wife says, we should take out the trash. We should go pick the kids up after school. We should do all the grocery shopping. I realized that my wife now identifies we as me. I do do all the grocery shopping at our house. But every time I go, some old lady thinks that I'm the assistant manager. <laughs> and they think I should know everything. It drives me crazy. I'm like, I'm not the manager. Where are the coffee filters? They're in aisle seven. <laughs> oh, but uh, I, I would wait to buy them until Tuesday? Yeah. The store runs a special between seven and 10. <laughs> when my kids were little, I could break stuff all the time and just blame it on them. Mm, is this one? <laughs> but now that they're older and they speak in complete sentences, <laughs> they're rats. <laughs> My wife is good too. She's like a district attorney. She interrogates them, flips them with Mountain Dew and Butterfingers. Now, they blame me for everything. <laughs> Mommy, um, Daddy killed Kennedy. Yeah, I saw him. <laughs> he probably did kill Kennedy, honey. Now tell me who broke the lamp in the den. Man, I had a bad day at work. How bad was it? I, yeah, the 70s called, they want that joke back. I'm an audiologist, and uh, oh, in case you think that I said I was a cardiologist, probably don't need to check your hearing. Got that one figured out, so. Um, a patient called and she said, um, what did you say about not swallowing your hearing aid?
What did I say? Um, I think I said, don't swallow your hearing aid. I think that's what I said. No, 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 no. After that, what did you say after that? Don't swallow the other one? <laughs> I was adopted, and recently I found my birth mother. <laughs> after 53 years. And I said to her, I don't know, you wanna, wanna meet up? Maybe come meet me, get to know me? And she said, no. <laughs> my kids asked, my kids were upset, and they asked me, Dad, are you okay? And I said, I'm fine. Pretty much got the message the first time she dumped me off at the fire station. <laughs> Wasn't expecting the reunion tour to be any different. I'm remarried, and between us, we have six children. Oh, this one gets better. <laughs> During the pandemic, I had 14 people living at my house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. It's more uh, sympathy cards for that one. So, um, my wife and I, <clears throat> the other day, we were talking about our heritage. And my wife said, I bet you didn't know that I'm part Native American. And I said, yes. And she was like, how did you know that? And I'm like, because you brought your whole damn tribe with you. <laughs> Getting old is rough. Man, when I was younger, my injuries had awesome stories. Yep, broke both legs. Yeah, fourth floor. Quick tip, just in case you're wondering, bed sheets don't work for repelling. <laughs> now I'm at the doctor and he's like, how did you hurt your neck? Um, sneezing? <laughs> happens. When I was younger, I could have had a broken vertebra. It just would not stop me. Now that I'm older, step on a Lego. <laughs> That's going to be six weeks. Looks like we are going grocery shopping, honey. <laughs> Shake it off. All right, Punchline. Thank you very much. You guys have been great.